Today is an incredibly exciting day for me because my brand new gaming mouse is out for delivery. While that may sound awesome and everything, I unfortunately wasn't expecting it to come today, so I'm actually really unprepared right now. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, what the heck, what do you mean you're not prepared for a new mouse? That sounds really weird, but let me show you why. Right here on my favorite Fnatic Dash mouse pad, do you see that? We have a problem. Now, I actually made a video of deep cleaning my entire gaming setup a few months back. And in that video, one of the things that I mentioned was, if you scratch your mouse pad, especially a dark one like this, and you see white marks, that means it's probably time to clean it, it's dirty. Problem that I'm gonna have today is, I don't have time to wash this thing today because it would need to dry for an entire day. So I feel like I have two options that I can do right now. I can either, one, try to lightly clean mostly where my mouse hangs out at. The other option is a bit of a degenerate gamer option and I could just rotate the entire mouse pad so the dirty part ends up over in that corner. Now that I'm saying that out loud, no, we're not doing that. I'm gonna see if we can lightly clean this. Okay, I took a microfiber cloth and I got it damp and just a tiny little bit of dish soap. Nothing crazy, not too much and fingers Cross this works. While we wait for the mouse pad to dry off a little bit, let me tell you guys about the mouse that I've been using for the last year and a half. This is the Glorious Model O Minus Wireless, and I absolutely love this mouse. It just fits in my hand so perfectly because I am a palm grip user, but I do leave a like tiny little bit of room in my palm so I can pull shots down, like if I'm controlling recoil and apex. The only thing that I don't like about this mouse, well, actually two things now. One being that the peak of the hump is in the middle and I almost wish it was further back here so it'd really sit in my palm a lot better. But two, an actual issue of this mouse, and I think it's kind of common with the wireless versions for some reason, but my scroll wheel, if I scroll down, every once in a while it scrolls up so in a game for me like apex i am changing my weapons with my scroll wheel and it starts to pull out a gun and it pulls it right back out and it just it completely destroys it so this mouse i've been trying to uh bear with it for a little bit but fortunately it's time for a new one it's here it's delivered okay uh before i go grab that mouse um let's do a final check Scratch test. Very, very faint, but that is more than good enough. Let's go get this mouse. This is the Lamzu Atlantis Mini. Now I'm not gonna lie, I've been looking for a brand new mouse for a hot minute. And a few months ago, I came across a subreddit called, I think Mouse Reviews and there are a bunch of nerds on that subreddit in a good way, like the best way possible. Thank God for them, because they have tested so many mice, like hundreds and hundreds of mice, and people are obsessed with all the clicks, the sensors, the weights, the shapes, the sizes, all that stuff. And one of the most commonly recommended mice, well, brands anyway, was Lamzu. What's great about this Atlantis Mini is that it is almost identical in shape and size to my glorious one that I have here. But instead of the hump being in the middle, the hump is more towards the back, which is exactly what I want. So let's not waste any more time. And in classic like Apple fashion, it looks like the slow pull, classic. I like this color blue. This is fancy packaging, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. That is sick. Sometimes I really appreciate good packaging and other times I'm like, I just would have rather you have saved some money and saved me some money. You know what I mean? Got a little bag. Hold on. What is... Wait, it comes with different grips? They give you free grips and, wait, and other feet if you want to try other feet. Or replacement ones. It looks like there's some replace... That, okay, I take back everything I just said. Yes, go above and beyond. This is sick. That is a really nice thing to include. Holy crap, I didn't even know that. 
Awesome. <laughs> anyway, what we got in the bag here? I love this color. Oh my God. So this is the USB cable. It kind of arches up. So when you plug it into the mouse, I'm gonna use my old glorious one here. It kind of is like a mini little bungee, basically. You can see that. That is sick. I kind of like this baby blue color. What's we got in here? No one cares. Actually, I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna read that. <laughs> I do care. And then the adapter from this to, I'm assuming what's going to be the dongle, the translucent blue. It's very old school-esque. Okay, so I'm assuming that's gonna go right there, wait. Yeah, 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 this is right because what you're supposed to do, and I actually found this out a few months ago, a lot later than I should have for how long I've been using mice, but what you wanna do is regular USB end, the bigger one, plug that into your PC, and then plug this in, like this will go into the mouse when you're using it wired for charging, but when you're not and you're going wireless, plug it into the little adapter, and then you're supposed to take the dongle, which I haven't opened up yet, then you take the dongle and then you keep this as close to your mouse as possible on the desk. I'll, I'll show you once I have it all set up, but anyway. Wait, now I'm confused on which side, this side. There she is. And a little dongle up top, that's what I was talking about. But who cares about that right now? Oh my God, this is light. She's beautiful. Oh my God. I love that translucent plastic. It is so like old, old school N64 vibes. That's what it is, like old Nintendo Game Boy vibes. This needs, to, this needs to make a comeback. This is the way to sucker in a lot of gamers. That is sick. And I like having the feet on the corner, some one in the middle. But yeah, this thing is just light and side button clicks. Regular clicks. Feel amazing. The scroll wheel feels amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna say this up front. I am not a mouse expert at all. I'm not gonna be able to give you guys incredible detailed stats and latency tests and all that stuff. I'm just a regular gamer. Well, of the above average gamer. And I'm just gonna give you guys my personal experience, but this feels amazing in my hand. Oh my God. Here, one last good look. There's the sides. But yeah, see how the hump is further in the back? So it's going to actually sit in your palm a little better. I love that, that is a great touch. Here's the comparison to my old one. It actually might be a little shorter, but they're, they're very, very similar in size, like extremely similar in size. But one thing I'm already noticing is if I squeeze this, Okay, not, not the click. Didn't hear anything, did you? But on this one, it like creaks. This mouse creaks. It's just not made nearly as well as this one. But this is lighter and oh my God, it fits perfectly in my hand. Okay, I'm gonna go get this all set up and we're going to go in the firing range in Apex and we're going to put this to the test. I am so freaking excited right now. We are now at my streaming setup and I set up a hand cam so we can play around with this mouse a little bit and get a feel for it. Now the setup was incredibly easy, just got everything plugged in. This cable right here is plugged in to the back of this PC, plugged in the adapter and the dongle into the adapter and see how that plugs in and it lifts up? That is so incredibly clutch when you have to play hardwire, like if you forgot to charge your mouse overnight or something like that, the fact that that lifts up, I barely feel any drag at all. That is amazing. 10 out of 10 feature. Here on the back side, we have an on and off switch and this button, which is a DPI button. And I don't even know if there's software, but in the manual it said green is 1600 DPI, which is what I play at. So that's what I set it to. And I typically just kind of stuff that under my PC, you can't really see it, but again, you want this really close to your mouse, so uh, you have like barely any latency. Dude, this feels so 
good. It's insane. Now that I'm really like thinking about my old mouse, one thing I really didn't like is I put my thumb here, obviously, and then my ring finger is on the side and I'm kind of pinching my mouse like this. And on this particular mouse, it wasn't even the, an issue of the sides are a little slick and I needed a grip tape, but it was almost the angle of this where I almost needed to pinch really hard. So if I wanted to make fine adjustments, it was kind of hard because I'm using my strength a little bit to keep it pinched. This Atlantis mouse, it's a little wider at the top and then it goes and curves inward here. So my fingers just feel locked in. Like this isn't going anywhere. This is literally the perfect shape for my hand and the way that I use it. I put my forearm like halfway on my desk and I usually aim like this and then fine adjustments with this, but mostly big swipes. I have loaded up Apex and we are in their new firing range that they just dropped like a week or two ago, which is awesome by the way. Like I already said, this mouse fits perfectly in my hand and I don't know if it's because it's technically a little lighter or if it's also the shape, the combination of the two, but I genuinely feel like this mouse is an extension of my hand. Now I'm really curious because I'm so happy with this if in a week or two I do want to maybe play around by swapping around the feet because I know it came with a different pack for potentially bigger glides, but this is gliding across my mouse pad so well right now. It just feels so good. I don't know if it's the sensor plus everything else, but it makes my old, quote, old, two-year-old mouse feel really outdated. It's really weird. All the clicks feel so much better and consistent. Nothing weird with that. I am absolutely in love with this mouse. It feels like I'm using my arm to aim rather than using my arm to push a mouse around to aim, if that makes any sense. Now, obviously I'm going to have to try and play around with this mouse for a few more weeks just to really get a good feel for it. But in the five minutes I've spent in the firing range so far, I am absolutely in love with this mouse. It feels so damn good. But yeah, just wanted to make a quick fun video for you guys, just unboxing and trying out this mouse for the very first time and falling in love with it within the first five minutes of using it. This is seriously such an amazing mouse. I didn't even know that mice could be that much better than what I was already using. I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be worth it to be honest, but I am truly, truly blown away. Again, this mouse was about a hundred dollars and I'll have the link to Lamzu's website down in the description below. If you guys want to check it out again, I'll be testing out this mouse like crazy throughout the next couple of weeks, just to really get a final feel for this mouse. And I'll update you guys in my upcoming vlog. So be sure you are subscribed so you can stay tuned for those vlogs. So that is going to do it for me today. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.